Did you know that Olympus has a very good image editing software, Olympus Workspace, and it's free? Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. But before we get into the software and its features, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there's a new video online. My videos are all about you getting to be a better photographer and I post two videos a week, usually on Tuesdays and Fridays. But let's go to the computer and see what the Olympus workspace has to offer. And the first thing you need to do is to download the software and there is a link in the description of this video to a link to an Olympus site where you can download. There are also mentions about the system requirements etc etc. And the thing you need is your serial number from your camera. It's in the bottom. There's a picture in the in the site where you can find your serial number of your camera, of your Olympus camera. You can get it for 32-bit Windows, 64-bit Windows and Mac OS. And then just hit the download button. After the download is finished and the software is installed in your computer, it's time to open it. The first thing it does, it will have a pop-up window where it asks you to register the software. You can do that later if you want. And then it wants you to upgrade all the other Olympus software. So it will take a while till you get into this stage. But it's worth doing so you have all the software updated. But let's dive into the software itself. This is what it looks like. And here you have your folder structure where all the pictures are. And then you have the film strip. And this film strip can be on the side like this or it can even be like this where you have the main photograph that you're working on on top which I can find kind of disturbing. I want uh, to have it this way. And then you have on, on this side you have the ability to rate these images. This is what the way to do it. Let's go here and as you can see down here you have the box where you could put, let's say that this one will be pink and I want that one also to be pink. And then maybe this one to be pink. And it works very familiar. You press this, then you have all the pictures that are marked pink. All these images are from Helsinki, which I took for my video for next Friday, when I'm talking about photographing snow and ice. But uh, that's next Friday. Today we're talking about the Olympic Olympus Workspace free image editing software. And as you can see, the yellow lines here are because I took this photograph for a video, so I had a 16 by 9 crop in my in my Olympus camera. You can change it from here where our tools are, which is very good. This is the original 16 by 4, but if I wanted to have the whole uh, image area, then I can choose 4 by 3 or any other it, any other image aspect ratio if I want, but let's leave it to be as a 16 by 9. And then the next menu item are all the different uh, features or different uh, editing possibilities that you have. You have the exposure compensation, you get white balance picture mode, and these picture modes are exactly the same that you have in your camera. I've used muted, so that's why it's, it's defaulted there. Then you got adjust color, And then you have clarity, dehaze, tone curve, highlight shadow, which is very important. You got to adjust the contrast, saturation, gradation, color space. And this color space is only you, you got two of these, Adobe RGB or sRGB. And this is revert to original and then you go undo. And this one you can copy the edit settings and then if you copy one uh, or make edits to a one photograph then you can with this you can copy them to to the others which is which is really good and then with this you can batch process files and here you can paste the settings if you want to and here you have a very interesting thing you can register your settings if you have settings that you do all the time then you can register them here and and apply them afterwards without going through the whole hassle of editing images. And, th and here you have details of the photograph. You have the camera, the uh, lens information, shooting mode, focal length, shutter speed, aperture, exposure compensation, etc., etc. You got the white balance, picture mode, and all that stuff. 
and then you have uh, the file name you got the format is olympus raw data you got the image size resolution color depth file size etc etc and then you have the full exif info here and then if you want to write something down maybe i write it for snow and ice video and then it stays there you know it, it's there and then and then this is very interesting you can add details to this my menu here and let's see that i want to have uh, the add to my properties then i have the shadow speeds and aperture and maybe i want to have the the white balances is interesting to see and then uh, what else is of course color space could be not really i always well iso could be interesting to have so i can have all the exif uh, info here that i want to see fast so i don't have to go here and start looking where it is i can have it here all the most important things and also same here with the with the customized palette let's see i have already customized here white balance dehaze contrast and unsharp mask but let's customize something else we'll press this and this kind of opens and what i want to do is uh, highlight shadow i want to add it and then if i want to remove let's say i want to remove white balance then i just go okay here and now we have dehaze contrast and sharp mask and highlight shadow on on my menu or my favorite menu this is very good and what else do we have here then we have sharpness unsharp mass noise filter and then uh, this is very interesting you have all the art filters from olympus cameras you have here if you want to apply the art filters after you have shot the images then you can do it in your olympus uh, workspace program program i always keep saying software is a program because it's it's a program in finnish so sorry it's software i try to remember that and then you have, uh, for example, Keystone Comp, you can uh, fix the horizon of the horizon, the, the perspective later, and you have the horizontal and vertical compensation. And then you can flip the image horizontal or vertically if you want. And uh, then we have, let we went through it. Then you have the clone stamp tool, so you can fix some uh, blemishes of the skin or some something else that might bother you in the image. And then you have the red eye reduction here. And then you just press this and correct it. And here is the histogram information. You can change to RGB or you can have the individual colors. Okay, you have to check and check the R. You can check the green and the blue. And you can individually correct these if you want. Uh, usually RGB is quite good. Well, after you've done, then you can go here and you can export your image from here. Or you can use the menu to export the image after you've done all the image editing things you need to do and of course you can then you can um, or work with the time-lapse movie or panorama or you can print the images let's see what else index print you can do contact sheets which is which is really cool if then then you can make a slideshow and from here you can go to the camera updater software so you can update the firmware in your camera and there's actually a video about uh, upgrading your camera firmware so i'll, I'll it I will put a link into the description of the of this video where you can find that if you want to if you want to do that because actually there are quite a few new firmwares for Olympus cameras because of the of the new radio control flash system so check out if your camera has a new firmware in you know but, but I put a link in the description also to the site where you can find out about the firmwares and the video also about how to upgrade it and a few comments on the software that olympus launched and um, it's it's a very good thing that they have because this is the only software today that can handle m1x raw files because lightroom has not been updated yet or photoshop has not been updated yet to to handle raw files from from the new x in the m1 series to have a free software to edit your image is always a good move from camera manufacturers and i'm very happy that olympus upgraded the not so good olympus viewer 3 to be a real software called workspace and this is actually quite usable software it's a bit slow even though i have pretty powerful computer even though it's four to five year old mac pro but still it, it's it's not the slowest computer in out there but uh, it's still a bit slow so that's that's the only downside that i i can figure out on this 
on this software and then it does not have like local adjustments like uh, like the brush tool or gradual tool that Lightroom has but otherwise this is a good start and if, if you're just buying a new Olympus camera and do not have editing software that you use now I think this is a very very good start so you can immediately start to do raw images if you want but I really recommend this software for any Olympus user that does not have Creative Cloud plan but otherwise I would recommend of course if you are more experienced I would go straight to Lightroom because it's it's a bit limited the workspace but but it's a good thing that it's there and this video was about Olympus workspace and it's a very very handy tool as you probably saw and you might like these two videos and also if you haven't subscribed yet please do so you don't miss any videos in the future but hey Thanks for watching and bye for now.